Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up Google Drive on our MacBook Pros. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the search bar and we're going to search for Google Drive. Now the Google Drive app it should be um, already installed on your computer. If, if it's not for some reason, please see me and we'll, we'll go through it together. Um, but if we click on here, Google Drive, double click on it, okay, from the search bar, um, it'll open up Google Drive and we're gonna sign in now with the browser. So if I click here, it should allow us, we've got Nick's account here, we can just sign in, all right? So if you've already set up Chrome and signed into Chrome, you should be able to log in with the browser. It's asking us here if we want to remove backup and sync. And we're going to say, okay, yes. All right. If it asks for a password, this is where you're going to bring it up to me and I'll plug in the administrator's password. And it's going to remove the old version of the app. It was called Backup and Sync from Google Drive. We're going to go ahead and open preferences. It's going to prompt us here. It's going to give us some uh, info. We can take the tour if we want. Let's go ahead and take the tour. You can manage your folders on your computer that sync with Google Drive, backup Google Photos, or both. You can also, and this is the main reason that we're going to be using this program, the Google Drive on the desktop, is easily access Google Drive. It's basically going to allow us to use Google Drive similarly to Google Drive on the Chromebook. So we're going to go ahead and click Next here. You can use more than one account. I don't recommend it, not on these computers. We're going to hit Done. And here you can, you know, the, the My MacBook Pro syncing, I wouldn't recommend this. I think we just want to go ahead and uh, set up the sync for our Google Drive, and then we'll work within the Google Drive folder for everything in this class. So we're going to click OK. And uh, we're going to... Um, uh, set a couple of things up here. So what we want to do is actually mirror files rather than stream files. And what that's going to do, it's going to download all of my drive files onto the computer. Now, as long as you haven't totally taken advantage of, and, uh, and by that I mean stored a bunch of like movies and music, your personal movies and music and stuff uh, on your school Google Drive account, you should be okay to mirror the files. And it's saying, you know, confirm my drive. Yeah, it's going to set it up here. Users, Nick, my drive. And that's going to be the sort of simple, straightforward location. We're going to go ahead and confirm that location and then click Save. And it says some changes require Google Drive to restart. We'll go ahead and restart that. We can close this browser window as well. Now, Google Drive lives up here in the taskbar um, at the top of the screen. Uh, the bar at the top of the screen. Now you can see Nick's using about 5.5 gigabytes, and that's probably on the large size. Most of us should be somewhere below that, but that's still um, an acceptable amount of space that can be taken up on the computer. Uh, that's not a problem. Let's go ahead into this little uh, gear wheel here. That's the settings. Let's go back into our preferences and just double check everything. Go to Google Drive. So we're mirroring our files. Let's go over here to our settings. And let's go ahead and scroll down through all of the settings. So Google Drive, real-time presence in Microsoft Office. This is fine. We don't use Microsoft Office in this class, so whatever you want is fine. Um, the uh, drive location is uh, going to be here. That's fine. Google Photos. What I would recommend with Google Photos is to not use it. Right? What we're going to be doing is manually selecting and controlling, manually downloading photos onto the computer, manually moving things around, creating new folders, etc. That's going to keep us a little bit more organized. Um, and so I would recommend not really using Google Photos. And so here, original quality, storage saver, it doesn't matter. If we go down here to System Photo Library, we're not going to upload photos and videos to Google Photos. Um, we're not going to upload screenshots. We're not going to upload raw files. We're not going to manually, I'm sorry, we're not going to automatically upload anything. We're going to manually create folders and move things into them in our Google Drive folder. We do want to launch Google Drive on the system startup. Okay. Local cached files directory, this is fine. We can leave it as the default. Proxy settings, auto detect, also fine. Bandwidth settings, we don't want to set up a rate here. We've got great internet at school. We don't need to worry about the upload or download rate. And uh, here, this is going to be key. It's going to actually be pretty annoying if we leave this checked. So we're going to uncheck 
this prompt me to backup devices. Click Save. It's going to ask us to restart Google Drive app. Go ahead and restart it. And again, it's going to be up here in the top of the window. You can see it's sort of circling around. That means it's syncing up, so it's downloading all of the files. This is going to take a while if you have more than mm, half a gig, right? Um, something like that. So we're syncing all the files, and it's doing that at a pretty fast rate, again, because our internet is for fairly fast here at school. I'm gonna go back into my preferences one more time, double check, everything looks good with mirror files, go to the settings, scroll down, everything looks good here, all right? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click done. And the other thing I wanna do here is right click, options, keep in dock. So let's keep the Google Drive app in the dock. Um, we wanna also do that with Google Chrome, uh, Photoshop and Bridge, right? So those three are, are locked down here in the dock. Google Drive is now also locked down here in the dock. So that's how you're gonna set up Google Drive. And then it's important to note, once you have this set up, if you click on the Finder here, if we're in Bridge or using the Finder, you'll see over here on the left-hand side, My Drive. And if we organize our folders here, we can see all of the documents, all of the folders that are in our Google Drive. And this is where we're going to save our work. When we are making pictures, what we'll do is create new folders in the My Drive folder, and it will automatically upload that to uh, our, our Google Cloud, our Google Drive in the cloud, right? Um, so we can access it from anywhere. This is gonna be, the reason why we're setting this up is so that it automatically syncs. So if we go here to My Drive, and I'm just gonna make a new folder here, we go File, New Folder, you can see the shortcut key is Shift-Command-N. We're gonna call this Photo2 because that's the, the class that Nick's in. And I'm gonna click return. Now, Nick, you can organize that down the road, but if we scroll around here, there's that photo two folder. There's from photo one, some photos, it looks like, and now we've got a photo two folder. So now every time we do a new assignment, we can create a new folder in the finder and it'll automatically sync that. All right, so that is how we create and set up, rather not create, but set up our Google Drive on our MacBooks.